Welcome to this edition of On the Scene. I'm your host, Tim Kelly. Today, we're going to be talking about Suffolk Transit. We're going to tell you all the ins and outs of the system, how it functions, how riders can get on, get off the bus, and really how you can find out all the information you need to know through some of their resources that they provide as well. Stay tuned. Welcome back to On the Scene. Joined now by Maria Tukowski, who is the Transit Manager with Suffolk Transit here in the city of Suffolk. Maria, thanks for being with us today. I'm very happy to be here. So we talk about Suffolk Transit. Uh, people maybe watching this might not know what we're talking about. In general, what are we talking about? All right, so Suffolk Transit is the city of Suffolk's public bus system. Okay. It means anybody can ride it. If you can get to a bus stop and you can pay the fare, you right. can get onto the bus. Very good. Um, all of our buses are ADA accessible. So if you have a mobility issue, we have wheelchair lifts and we can get you on the bus and we can secure you and you can ride as well. Yep. Uh, we have a total of six bus routes that operate in a variety of areas in the city of Suffolk. So we have a, quite a few routes that operate in the downtown area right. that serve a lot of the residential areas and then a lot of those activity centers as we call things like Walmart or medical, right. uh, the hospital, doctor's offices, those kinds of things. Gotcha. We also serve the northern part of Suffolk. So we have a route that is a northern route Got it. and it actually goes around the northern part of Suffolk Understand. and we have a connector route. Gotcha. So we have the ability if you are in downtown you can get up to the northern part of Suffolk. Gotcha. And in the middle there, you can connect to HRT okay. through Chesapeake Square. Got it. And HRT can get you to a variety of places sure. in the Hampton Roads area. We also connect to HRT on our purple route up north, right. and that can get you to other places as well. Gotcha. So we have now made it so that you can get from one part of Suffolk to the other part of Suffolk if you need to get to Chesapeake in the middle. Right. And it's great because we not only bring people out of Suffolk that need to get to different things, we have a lot of people that need to get to Suffolk for things. Gotcha. So now people have the opportunity, if they don't have the means of transportation, right. they can get to Suffolk for things that they couldn't get to before. Perfect. And of course, the name kind of says it all. It's yeah. Suffolk Transit. It is. So we're talking about primarily, or we're really, solely really service within the city of Suffolk. Mm -hmm. I know Suffolk used to be part of the HRT system. It was. Uh, we decided to go this route and use Suffolk Transit. Been in operation for about how long? We've been in operation since January of 2012. Okay, so a little over six years. Yeah. And um, through that time, we have seen routes um, change a little bit addition of routes, yes. which has been the, the big popular thing here. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess since we're talking about changes, as of July 1st of this year, there have been some changes uh -huh. um, with the routes and also with some Saturday service, right? Yes. So the July 1st, we actually expanded some service hours on some existing routes mm -hmm. that um, operate Monday through Friday. Got it. So our red route used to only operate five hours uh -huh. and we were able to add an hour and get it to start a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. And that red route is really good. It helps serve the Magnolia Gardens uh, uh, apartment complex where we get a lot of riders that right. get out to go shopping. They right. get out to the doctor. Sure. And they, of course, love that it starts a little bit earlier for them. Right. Then our yellow route used to only run seven hours a day. And we are able to expand that to 12 hours. Right. And people are very excited about that. Mm -hmm. Because before, if you were living in the Saratoga area or off of parts of Holland Road in 58, you had to really figure out the best way that it worked in your schedule for you to get where you're needing to go. Got it. Now there's just a lot more opportunity for people to really utilize the service. And we've already seen a spike in ridership through right. that with the addition of those hours. Right. And then the biggest thing that people were really excited about was Saturday service. Right. We have a lot of people that are transit dependent. Mm -hmm. And that means if there's no Saturday service, you can't get anywhere on the weekend. Right. And if you work during the week, right. you have to find a way to shop during the week. Mm -hmm. Now people have the opportunities to maybe work on Saturdays that right. couldn't. Yeah. and to do some shopping. So we run Saturday service and we run all of our routes mm -hmm. from 7.30 until 4.30 um, in the afternoon. And we actually combined the yellow and the red route to create a new route that came about for Saturday called the blue route. It. So it kind of pulls the biggest parts of those two routes together and gives people access to Food Lion and some down uh, 58 and all of that. So really it sounds like the philosophy with the city of Suffolk and Suffolk Transit is certainly customer service. Yes. I mean, you're, you're creating, the routes have been created and, and tweaked, if you will, over the time that we've had Suffolk Transit to accommodate the ridership. You, you know who your riders are. Mm -hmm. you're, you're listening to them. You're finding out what their needs are. You talk about the added Saturday service, servicing some of those other areas where you know your ridership is high. Mm -hmm. Certainly we want the whole system to, to gain in ridership, but it's all oriented around the customer, isn't it? It is. Yeah. I mean, everything, every the as Suffolk Transit has grown, it's yeah. all grown through 
conversations with passengers, saying, hey, it would be really great if we could maybe look into trying to do something like this, or we would really benefit from something like this. So every piece of growth we've done has come from the public input. Right. Because without the riders, you don't have a service. That's right. And so we, we really did, and, and Saturdays was one of those things that we had numerous, mm -hmm. numerous, like, hey, is it possible for us to do this kind of thing? Mm -hmm. And when we were able to do it, people were really excited. We had, we had to hold, um, we held a public meeting Correct. for this, and we actually had a, quite a few people show up in attendance, and some that spoke very highly of Suffolk Transit yeah. and what it's been able to do for them. And I mean, I think it's been a very good thing for the city of Suffolk. And then you have done surveys along the way too, yeah. so it's not just the riders, it's people who might be potential riders, mm -hmm. or if you didn't have service in an area, you talked about that, where you've added, again, trying to figure out what people need, mm -hmm. where they need to go, adding the Saturday service so they're not just structured to that, that five-day mm -hmm. window right there, and connecting routes and making sure people get around to make sure the system is functioning as the city needs it to function. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we have to look at all of that. You have to yeah. look at how the routes feed each other, Correct. the places that they're going, because nobody wants to create a bus route that is going to pick up nobody, right. or there's places people don't actually want to go. Exactly. So it comes right. from, I mean, you have to look at all of those little elements to figure mm -hmm. out how does this connect best here, right. to get people where they need to go, and all of that. We do the same thing when we look at um, doing enhancements at bus stops themselves. Right. So we look at how many people are going to the stop, do they need some kind of a shelter, do they need some kind of a means, like a bench, or something of those along those lines. Right. So we have actually done some enhancements with added bus shelters. Right. So the new apartment complex that's on Main Street, OBC right. Place, mm -hmm. we have a shelter out there, Got it. which has definitely helped. Mm -hmm. We are in the process of installing a shelter a couple doors down from City Hall Correct. because people need access here. Right. And it just is one of those places that it makes sense. Right. You, you want to have some a nice bus stop. Sure. Uh, what, as the Godwin Park and Ride finishes, we're going to have a shelter out there. Okay. Um, we also are going to have our first bus shelter up in the northern part of Suffolk okay. on Town Point Road. Mm -hmm. And that's just really allowing people, if they're waiting for the bus, to be able to stay out of the elements if they need to, which is very helpful because we have ages from young kids up to people in their 90s that utilize the bus. And right. we want to find a way to make everybody's ride as comfortable as possible. Now, for people who are using the service or thinking about using mm -hmm. the service, how does the fare structure work? What do you need to have to pay when you're getting on the bus? Um, do you have passes? How is that system set up? How do people use the system? So we have a variety of means for people to use the system. So if you know that you're just going to get on the bus and you need to go from point A to point B, and that's all you need to do, right. you can pay right on the bus a one-way fare. And it's structured, uh, we look at it based on its by age. Mm -hmm. So we have, if you're an adult, that's one fare, and that's going to be a a dollar fifty to go one way. Got it. So, and then if you are a senior citizen or you're disabled, it's a half a fare. So it's 75 cents one way. Okay. A lot of people will utilize what we call an all day pass. Okay. So essentially what happens is an all day pass is double your one way fare. Okay. And then you can ride the bus all day long. Got so it. say you get on, you know that you're gonna need to use it a couple of times, you pay three dollars right. and you can ride that bus from the time that it starts to the time that it ends gotcha. which is really it's really nice yeah. especially if you're having to transfer from bus to bus because a lot of our buses feed each other mm -hmm. so that does give you that opportunity and right. then if you really and this is, became very helpful for people that live kind of on a budget mm -hmm. we offer monthly passes okay. so you can purchase your monthly pass right. those are done at the vrt suffolk transit office can I ask you that? Okay. yeah because those are a higher price sure. and we don't want that kind of money on the bus I understand. kind of a thing right right but you can go and you can purchase an all-day pass Okay. Um, a monthly pass, I mean. Right. And those actually have a picture, your picture on it, Got so it. that you and only you can use that pass. Mm -hmm. And it is good from the day that you buy it until 30, you know, the very next month. Right. And so it, even if you buy it in the middle of the month, it's sure. good to the middle of the next month. Got it. And those are done. And we, those are same kind of a thing we have a, for an adult, that's fifty-seven fifty for that monthly pass. Right. If you are a student, it's thirty-seven fifty. Okay. And then if you're a senior citizen or you're disabled, it's twenty-seven fifty. And that is really nice for a lot of people that need to know this is my money right. and I can spend this right. and I can ride the bus for the rest of the month. And not have to worry about figuring out how, what, yep. yeah. It, figuring out how much money they need, it right. alleviates them having to deal with having money on the bus sure. and that kind of a thing. Got and it. everything we do on the bus is by cash. Okay. So, and it, the drivers can't make change. I was going to ask you that because yep. you talked about the 75 cents. Yeah, thinking, so it's, a, yeah. Well, you know, you maybe don't have three quarters, I got a dollar, how does that work? So, so. the drivers can't make change, right. so some people will, if they just have the dollar that day, they'll sure. just put in the dollar. I understand, okay. Kind of a thing, yeah. Okay. Now, um, 
So you talked about the fare structure. Mm -hmm. you, you could pay on the bus, and every, I mean, obviously every stop you can pay to get yes. on if that's what you're needing to do. Absolutely. Um, now, you also offer what's called paratransit services. Yes. Explain what that is and how people can utilize those. Okay, so paratransit runs complementary to the fixed route service, which is our, which is what Suffolk Transit is, that's fixed route service. So there's a specific route and that's what they travel. Got it. So paratransit runs within a three quarter of a mile, basically buffer around all of those routes. And okay. what that means is if you have some kind of a medical condition right. that does not allow you to make it to a bus stop, so you, you're in, you're unable to stand for the time period it's going to take for the bus to come sure. or you live far enough off of the bus stop that you can't quite get there with your medical condition okay. you can get certified for paratransit okay. and that runs as more of a door-to-door -door service and that means that they can come pick you up at your front door mm -hmm. and then they will drop you at your location for whatever appointment you may need and then okay. they'll take you home okay the fare for that is three dollars each way Got so it. one trip will always be six dollars for paratransit so it does it runs complimentary yeah. um, just in case it's just you you can't utilize right. the regular fixed route service now is that part of the route or are there separate buses that handle that aspect so right so senior services right. of southeastern virginia okay. has been our paratransit okay. um operator Got it. for the okay since 2012, mm -hmm. and so that is a separate, it's a separate minivan gotcha. that works for that. Because I, because I'm thinking, how would you make a route for the normal service if you're having to detour? And yeah. Today you got to do this. Tomorrow you do that. So it's a separate. It's all under the Suffolk Transit umbrella, yes. but it's a separate bus. It's a separate service. Separate service. It's gotcha. separate, and that is scheduled. So that gotcha. has to be right. scheduled right. because right. you're trying to, you're doing door to door. Right. So it's a little bit different than just having a schedule that everybody goes by. So those change. You make that route gotcha. as the as the days go on. Now you mentioned off the top when you're talking about mm -hmm. some of the enhancements as July 1st you were mentioning a lot of colors. Oh, yes. And I think all the routes are named by color, correct? They are. So we chose to go with, with colors for sure. how we recognize our routes. Mm -hmm. um, so the we have a green route, mm -hmm. which that is more of your uh, downtown Walmart hospital up to, um, goes all the way to the Prudence Center. Yep. Uh, we have an orange route, which is your East Washington, Lake Kennedy, um, Hollywood, some of Portsmouth Boulevard route. Mm -hmm. We have a red route, which okay. is that uh, Magnolia Gardens, uh, Portsmouth Boulevard, Walmart route. Right. The yellow is what takes us to Saratoga gotcha. and gets us all the way to Paul Camp and to Ace Hardware and Target and all of those big um, places where a lot of people work. Mm -hmm. And then we did do some adjusting to some of our colors. Right. So we used to have a blue route, right. and that was our north route, which is now purple. Got we it. call it we call it purple. It's great to see on a map, right. uh, just to make it a little bit easier. We sure. also have a pink route, Got it. and that's our connector. Got it. Also, you can't you can't miss a pink route on a <laughs> on a map. And then the blue route is what we use for that new Saturday yellow gotcha. red combination. So we do we go by colors. You seem to know your material because you just rattled them all off, knew exactly where they go. Oh, so yeah. We know if we got a question, you're the one to answer it. Absolutely. That was That's good. Um, but as far as, okay, we talked about the routes, but you have colorful brochures we which do. have the routes on mm -hmm. there, but you also have an aspect that people can go online as well as there's a mobile app. So talk about how those work and what people can get out of them. All right, so we have the ability, so of course Suffolk Transit has the website, right. and on the website we've got schedules and all of that information. Mm -hmm. We also have what we call um, Spot and that is done through ETA, and that is real-time bus tracking. Got it. So there is a website that you can go to, you can click on a bus stop, and you will know how long it's gonna take for the bus to get there. That also comes with a very handy app that you can put on your phone, okay. and there is an iPhone app, and there's an Android app. Perfect. So there's two opportunities, and depending on your phone, right. that you can actually put that onto your, okay. onto your phone, and you can just pull it up, mm -hmm. you can look and say, I'm standing here at the Walmart, mm -hmm. Let's see what time the next bus is going to get here. And it'll tell you that the green line's going to be there in five minutes. Or if the red line's running at that time frame, that one will be there in 15 minutes. So now you don't have that, did I miss my bus? Where is my bus? Are you pulling out the paper schedule trying, trying to Trying to find figure it, out exactly right. where it is. Now you right. there's a real-time tracking, sure. which has been very, very helpful for yeah. a lot of people. I mean, it's really, it's a sense of, gives you a sense of security, knowing that I did not miss my bus. Correct. Because you know when it's coming. Correct. Well, and then also, I guess, if you're sitting there and it's, it's raining and maybe you're, you're not quite out there trying to turn, you, you know kind of when you need to be where yep. you need to be. It does. It, it just saves you a lot of time and hassle. Right? Yeah, so right. say it is raining, it's a terrible day, or it's very hot out, and right. you're like, oh, I don't want to stand outside Walmart for yeah. longer than I have to. Now you know, oh, I have about 10 minutes, and I can come out and I can meet the boss. Yeah, so Spot has been a very, very great addition yeah. to um, Suffolk Transit. And I'm sure that probably is another thing that came about through helping the riders out. Absolutely. It was uh -huh. all about rider experience. Yes. Yes. And when you, the majority of phone calls that come into a transit system is, 
where's my bus? Right. <laughs> How much longer is the bus going to be until I get here? Correct. Did I miss the bus? Right. Those are a lot of the phone calls. Right. And so it is. It's, it's all about enhancing passenger experience, and Spot does that. Got it. It really gives them that, especially for a new rider. Yeah. It can be a little daunting and can be a little nerve wracking if you've never ridden a bus system sure, before sure. to think, can I get home? Right. Am I going to get lost? Am I going to get stuck somewhere? Right. And you just, you have that security right in the palm right. of your hand. Right. Now, if people are at a bus stop mm -hmm. or waiting or they know, they, you know they, get, they know what color route they're going to run, are the buses marked? Is there like a digital display or is it by color? How, how would you recognize this is green, this is how is that set up? So all of the buses are equipped with what we call illuminators. Okay. So illuminators are right on the front of the bus, and then there's a sp section on the side of the bus, and it will tell you green route, and Main Street, Opacy. Mm -hmm. or it, So each of the colors is going to come across your bus. So right. you're never trying to guess, eh, is this the bus that I need to catch <laughs> right. today or not? Because right. they all look the same. All sure. the buses look sure. the same. So they do. We, the illuminators are very helpful. You know, this is my green route. Mm -hmm. This is my orange route. Right. That kind of a thing. Now, you mentioned people who haven't ridden, whether it's Suffolk Transit or a mm -hmm. bus system before. Any tips or suggestions you would have for a new rider that's trying to, to get in the system and figure out how to get around and maybe they've got it mapped out or just any advice you can give? So we have a couple of options if you are new to the system. Yeah. The Suffolk um, Transit Office, mm -hmm. they're, they, are, they will walk you through exact. If you tell them, I need to get from here to here at this yep. time, they can help you with that. Got it. Um, drivers on the bus, they're very knowledgeable mm -hmm. about their routes and everything like that. So a lot of people will ask the drivers, hey, if I need to get here, well, how do I do this? Right. Um, we have on our website a page that actually tells you how to read a bus schedule. Yep. So a bus schedule, when you open it up, it can be, what is all of this? Because <laughs> you have so many times, yes. so many bus stops, and you're trying to figure out what that all means. Yeah. So we have a little bit of a tutorial on okay. the website that kind of tells you what each thing means mm -hmm. so that it can make it a little bit easier. Got it. And then also, through Spot, mm -hmm. we um, have a trip planner on okay. our website. Very good. So on the ETA website, yes. you can actually put in, I need to get from here to here, and it'll show you which buses to use. Same with if we are now a part of Google Transit as well. Okay. So you can go to Google, and if you are in the city of Suffolk, you can type in your addresses. Mm -hmm. You can choose Transit, and it'll actually use Suffolk Transit to get you there. Perfect. Well, yeah, we're making it pretty easy then, aren't you? We are. We're trying to make it as right. convenient and as easy to experience for people that want to get on the bus. Very good. Now, we mentioned off uh, earlier, uh, you know, Suffolk used to be part of HRT. Mm -hmm. You talked about the fact that you can transfer from Suffolk Transit to mm -hmm. HRT. How does that process work for a rider? So for a rider, like I said, we have two places right now that you can transfer right. to HRT. So if you're on the pink route, if you get off at Chesapeake Square, we actually let off right at the HRT bus shelter. Okay. And that actually, the 44 is the one bus, the Norfolk bus from HRT that comes there, as well as a commuter route called the 962. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing about Suffolk Transit and HRT, we are two se separate systems, which means we have two different fare structures. Got it. So if you p have your all-day pass for Suffolk Transit, if you're going to transfer to HRT, you still have to pay either for an all-day pass or for a one-way fare. Got it. But we do, I mean, we placed ourselves at spots where it's easy for people to transfer between the two. Same with up near the um, Applebee's on the College Drive area, mm -hmm. right up in northern Suffolk. Yep. Same thing, you can catch the 44, and that's, that'll actually get you to Portsmouth. Gotcha. And there's a lot of places that if you can get to one place uh, with an HRT bus, you can transfer to others. There you go. But yeah, you just have to make sure that you are aware that you're going to have to pay a different fare. Gotcha. Pretty simple there. Mm -hmm. Now, you mentioned uh, the Suffolk Transit office. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the phone number there if somebody needed to call to maybe talk to someone about trying to figure out where they need to go? They had a question about a route. Maybe they haven't used Spot. They need to know where, where's my bus. How okay. Does, what's the phone number? For um, it's going to be 214-6442, okay. and that's for the Suffolk Transit office, and that is located downtown. Mm -hmm. It is next to Michi's. So you have a Michi's on the corner, you've yes. got that big drive through yep. in the back portion of that next building, you can find the Suffolk Transit office. And when is staff there? I mean, is it just when the service is operating? We have staff there when service is operating. Okay, yeah. So we make sure that there is someone in there to man the phones for phone right. calls. Uh, we also like to make sure that there's staffing there because if something happens with a bus sure. in service, right. we need to have a means to be able to handle all of that. So we do. We try to staff it mm -hmm. when the buses are on those roads. And how many buses, I mean, I know we, we, we talked about the, the different routes, mm -hmm. but how many buses are part of the system as well as employees? Because, I mean, it sounds like, you know, again, y'all are customer service oriented. I'm sure there's a lot of training that goes on to make sure the, the drivers are informed about, so the riders have questions, they can kind of bounce things off of them. But how are y'all structured? How big is the operation? In so sense? the operation uh, housed in, in, like, Suffolk itself, yes. um, for the city of Suffolk, I am 
Suffolk Transit. <laughs> so I am the only employee for that. But our contractor, VRT, who right. runs our bus service, yes. they have the staffing that does all of the actual um, operating of the service. So okay. we have a total of nine buses. Okay. So there are nine buses. Mm -hmm. um, we are in the. Pro we actually just ordered some new ones okay. to start to help our aging fleet. Sure. Uh, so that's really exciting. Mm -hmm. they, the operators always get really excited when there's new buses. Same with <laughs> sure. same with the passengers. Sure. They love yeah. when there's a new bus. Yes. So we're everybody's really looking forward to that. And in terms of the VRT staffing, they have a transit manager that is over the whole service. Okay. They have an operations supervisor. And that is making sure that there's someone there to supervise the service at all times. Got and it. they also have dispatchers in the office. Mm -hmm. So at all times when the bus is on the road, someone will be there to like answer questions, even if you come by the office. Okay. Now, are there any amenities for the riders that are on the buses? I mean, I've, I know, I'm sure air conditioning, heat, as far as depending upon the temperatures, but any other amenities that are offered on the buses themselves? Uh, the buses themselves do, of course, come equipped with seatbelts. Okay. We, like I said, they are ADA accessible, so if you have a wheelchair, right. we, we have the ability to, t um, to secure two wheelchairs per bus. Got it. We also have um, a seat that is built in with a child restraint, mm -hmm. so you can actually secure your child as well. And of course, they do have the AC. Right. Yeah. Okay, very good. So we talked about what Suffolk Transit is, the route structure, the fare structure. Um, again, noted about the website, we'll have that URL up on the screen for that. Talked about the spot aspect of things, which is both online as well as on the mobile app, mm -hmm. which is for Android or iPhone, so yep. we are with both of those. Uh, anything else to add? We have a, probably a couple of minute, minute or two left in the program. Just didn't know if there's anything else you wanted to throw in there as far as about Suffolk Transit for people who don't know or just want to know more. If you actually don't know a lot about Suffolk Transit, you mm -hmm. might not know where the buses start and end their routes. Good question. So Good we point. right downtown, right. Um, right to the Seaboard Museum, actually. Got it. The downtown transfer station right. is where all of your downtown routes are going to start and end their service. Got it. So that is where all of the buses meet. So if you say you're on Main Street and you happen to miss that bus trying to get down there, you can still walk to the transfer station. Gotcha. And from there, you have access to all of our downtown routes, including that pink route that can get you up north. Got it. And it is equipped with bathrooms. Right. Uh, it is equipped with water fountains, and yes. we also have information, a bulletin board out there that has information about the buses themselves. So again, that's sort of the, way the main hub as you talk. It about. is the main hub, yeah. and we even have a place to uh, secure a bike. Yeah. And that's a nice thing about the buses, too, mm -hmm. is not a lot of people know we have bike racks on the front of the buses. Very good. So you can ride your bike, and you can catch the bus. You can secure it to the front, okay. and then you can utilize your bike when you get to your next stop, which is nice for people that may live a little further away from a bus stop. Right, right. It makes it a little bit easier to get there, and then you can bring that bike right with you. Appreciate that. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, Maria, thanks for your time today. Of course. Telling us all about Suffolk Transit and certainly uh, any anything informationally down the road you need to come back on, just let us know. We'll be happy to have you back on as a guest to Absolutely. talk about what's going on with Suffolk Transit. I, I mean, I love Suffolk Transit, and yes. I, I really like to let people know that it does exist, that right. this is something that we have for you. And it, it, I mean, it's a great service, and we do our very best to. Right promote good customer experience. And I, and I think that shows, again, in how the routes are structured, the enhancements that have been mm -hmm. made. Y'all are listening to find out what people need and mm -hmm. to make sure that you can accommodate as much of that as you possibly can. Absolutely. Very good. Well, yeah. thanks again. No problem. Thanks. That would do it for this edition of On the Scene. I'm your host, Tim Kelly. We'll see you next time.